Nice. Starting off with a whip. I started with 181, 174, so seven kills for a whip. Ooh, buddy. Second whip of the task. Beautiful. All right, those two whips from that task. And not that I'm complaining, but they are kind of cheap now. They used to be like 2.5 million, now they're 1.6. But here's the new task. And Cave Kraken, cool. Let's get this pet so I can finally block these. Kraken Pentacle at Kraken. Skipping ahead after a bunch of cannon and canceling a bunch of tasks, pick up 162 Diagonoths to go do a DKs. Here's a Master Casket from a Speedrun Elite that I got. Not the greatest way to start off the Masters. Oh, well there's my second unique ever from Zora. A uncut onyx on just shy of 500 kill count. Another unique, my first Tanzanite thing. Cool. Nice. An elite clue on exactly 600 kill count. Pretty simple six step master. For a pretty simple reward. 69 masters though. Another Tanzanite fang drop. Another unique, my second Serpentine Visage. Very nice. Nice, an elite and a dragon halberd in the same drop. Alright, I'm not feeling very good reward. There's like kids shivering in the corners, vampires everywhere, but here we go. Yeah. Oh, armored up page. Not that many kills later, and pick up another elite. And another elite, so that's two. I think I'm gonna stack up three and then do them all at once. Alright, and there's the third elite, so let's go and do these. I wonder. How many Master Clues do I have to do to get a Bloodhound pet? Let's find out. One, two, three. The world may never know. Nice, there's an Archer's Ring. I've already had three Axes of Mud Stuff and a Sears with 82 left, so this is going to be pretty nice price check. Another DK's trip with a bunch of items to throw into the price checker. Axes, three axes, I got another mud stuff also, and then uh, these little things, so 5.8 mil. And black dragons, those are really quick to do with babies. There we go, nice, a dad tusk. See you later, dad. Let's turn in the cape of disappointment because we're never going to get the pet, because you're always unlucky. Yeah, just take it, I don't want it. Yeah. Okay, let's create a new task. Okay, this is interesting. A Vion task. I will do 35 of those for sure. Another uncut Onyx at Zora. A Dragon 2H off of Vedion. Alright. An Elite attached to a Magic Seed. Cool. Nice. I'm not sure how many I have left on task, but I will do this. Most amazing casket ever. Uh, no. A dad task? Okay. You know, I probably don't have to gamble my fire cape, because by the time I get all the pets from everything you do on task, plus the Scotizo pet coming in, I probably am going to do a ton of jazz. I don't need to gamble it. Uh, it's too fun, though. Like, the extra chance. I don't really care if I stack them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're not lucky. Okay, I should have saved the cape. Let's go get a new task. All right, a nice hefty Diagonoth task to go do a DK, sweet. Another Serpentine Visage. Berserker Ring at DKs, and look at this, if I can find it. Go to the game, Dragon Axe, and like a Seer Call, and then a Warrior's Ring to kill after, and now a Berserker Ring, sweet. Solid five mil from that DKs task. And Neck Reels, very nice. And another elite off of Zora. All right, this is going to be really risky because the Wildy Slayer Master just came. Look, there's a rare dueling right there. Someone just died. Okay, let's do this quick. Blood Ruin. Big. That. Open. Black Demon Mask. Hey, Jace. Okay, let's get out. Run, 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 run. Kill it. Oh, someone died here. I'm looting his shit. All right, made it out alive, but that was my 75th master and a 1.1 mo clue, so not too shabby. Oh yeah, Bandos test. It's at Bandos, obviously, with five and a half super combats left, and I might use an alt to just restock and stay for like 
the entire day. So we'll see how far this trip goes. All right, I bought a pair of Draconical Claws for a little under 136 mil. I'm going to try these out at Bandos, and there's kind of a fun weapon to use at a couple different places. I think there will they'll be a Senate Mole also, so yep. And I'll sell off these Tacits to the split and everything. Alrighty, Tacit sold a little over 25 mil, 70% of my tank, and a little over 500k from the Elk, so 8 mil from that. And we're going to go back and try out these Claws. Well, first drop using Claws at Bandos gets an Elite, and these things are sick, with one person using a Warhammer, one person clawing. So yeah, if you are ever looking for a new meta, or the new meta for Bandos, one Claw, one Warhammer is the way to go. Nice, and now I pick up a chest plate, a chest plate, chest piece, chest plate, chest plate. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Nice. What is this? Ten kills, something later. Second chest plate. Chest plate sold for a little over 28 million. 19.6 mil of the tank, 650k for my split of the Alc and common drops, which is actually more than that uh, acid strip. So nine mil, sweet. And I'm gonna go and do a master from this. All right, a few dead cabbage guys later, we have the casket, and it is very mediocre. Uh, another elite, and coming close to a thousand Zora kills, so I'll be back with this reward. Final step, maybe? Yep, here we go. Yep. 98 agility, one more level to go. All right, one of the longest still skills to complete, 99 rooftop. There it is, in all its glory. I'll pick up the cape. Certainly, yes, cape. There we go. So, loot from 99 agility, squirrel pet, a little under 3,400 marks of grace, and I have the uh, all favor of, what do you call it, Zaya set, and the Lobocane set. And basically, the only slow 99s I have left are rune crafting and mining the emote in here really quick so I think I'm going to move on to rune crafting next and that'll get me some mining levels because I'll be doing Zaya and then I'll do the rest of the skills which are really fast so hunter thieving uh, smithing and this will probably be like 89 ish maybe 90 by the time I'm done with rune crafting so mining and I'm waiting on fire making uh, until I get the beaver pet because I'll get some making experience from that so yeah getting really close to max uh, just pretty much have those two left and really nice to have this cape done 91 fire making while afk some redwoods i managed not afk for too long so i saw the elite nest before it despawns so i have another master that i can go and do now quick and easy casket pretty average so there is my first one Thousand Zora kills, mostly just here for a mutagen. I prefer the magma, but I will take a tanzanite. And if I got a tanzanite, I would not, I'd probably not continue for the uh, other one. And with if I got a magma, I wouldn't go for the tanzanite. And of course, any elite clues are always welcome. So hopefully, we can get this mutagen sooner rather than later. Nice and four kills after a thousand. Pick up another elite. All right, I'm at the monastery, so I expect. No less than three god pages. I did get an honorable blessing, though. All right. Uh, 170k. Never mind. This sucks. Another Tanzanite Fang to chuck into the loot tab. What the heck is this? A shield left out from Bandos on exactly 700, 1,700 kill count with some other low-level people in here for some reason. But okay. I guess, I guess that just happened. Nice. First non-troll drop of the trip. And it's a Bando's chest plate. Very nice. Now I get a long bone. Alright, so I've had a shield left half. We've had a rune sword that I didn't show, a long bone, and the BCP. This is a weird trip. I had to cut it short because my tank had to go early, but a 400k from the Alks, and it should be about 4.5 mil from that trip. Still had a ton of combats though. Too bad we had to end early. What is this? Getting a long bone from Bando's kill count. Oh, I hope this is not a reflection of how the trip's gonna go. Okay, we've been here for over 10 super combats. My kill count is only 100, but I died while I wasn't looking. And the first drop of any significance 
is a long bone again. Yeah, it's gonna be like this this trip, isn't it? Alright. Holy shit. Oh my god, a curved bone. <clears throat> Sorry, that's a one in five K. That's a uh that's a pet rate. Oh buddy. Uh What is with all these bones? <laughs> Oh, that really sucks. Rip, dude. Rip that. Well, the first real drop in a while. It's a Bendos Hilt with this guy trying to crash us, I guess, for some reason. So it's a drop. Not the drop we want to see, but it's a drop. 91 rune crafting. Oh, that's right. I get double uh, nature runes. Not that I'm ever going to do them, but that is actually a... Oh, that's actually a big uh, rune crafting milestone. Nice. Holy crap. Rift Guardian? Really? 91 rune crafting? <laughs> oh, that's so rare. Like, the chance to get that? That's crazy. It's my third skilling pet. So nice. Oh, it's one of the longest ones to get if you don't do, like, lavas or something. Whoa! I'm gonna see. I'm gonna change it to a different color, probably, but uh, let's go ahead and ensure this thing. Hello, Probita. Yes, I would like to ensure the Rift Guardian. Very nice. Boom. 17 pets. So sick. Uh, here's the ruins. This is actually half of the blood ruins because I've used a lot of them. So let me just put this. I'll just do 21 mil. So we'll count that as 42 mil. And then we add on this. So 42 plus. Let me take that out so I can see what it is. 42 plus 3.5. So 45 mil. 45.5 mil made from uh, the rune crafting pet. Only took 25k sold uh, since I unlocked that at level 90. So, again, that's insanely lucky to get that this early. I think I'm going to go do 99 thieving. Uh, Rocky's actually one of the lowest power pets. So, I think I'm going to do that and then I'll finish off rune crafting when it's like one of my last skills to max. Finish that Necreal task from a bit ago, and Cave Kraken, very nice. Kraken Tentacle at Kraken, not the most exciting of drops, but it is a drop. Oh, very nice kill on Elite Clue, okay, that's a much better drop, there we go, cool, Master Time. Hello Sherlock, you beautiful man, nice hat. 430k, 80 Masters, okay, okay. There is 4,500 Kraken kill count, which is one and a half times the drop rate of the pet. And Kraken is the only boss I'm actually overrate for the drop rate of the pet right now, which not so bad. If you want to go dry on a pet, it's Kraken because kills are so fast anyways. But, uh, yep, hopefully we, we can uh, get this before 6k and two times the drop rate. Uh, what is this? There we go. The best task in the world. 143 DKs to go and do. Nice, I decided to do a couple kills after my task was completed and pick up an archer's ring to actually get a decent drop this task. Alright, let's throw this into the price checker because this is what we do after every DK's trip. I'll just do that, that's fine. 4.7 mil. Okie doke. More cave kraken. Okay, sure, why not? I got pet kraken. <laughs> I was looking away and I looked back and I... Nice. Well, that was 4,577 kill count though. For cracking. <laughs> hey, I like. I can finally block the stupid task. Woo! All right, I don't know if I mentioned it when I was in that Discord chat, but uh, this is the day after I got the Rift Guardian, which is awesome. That's my first time ever getting a pet. Uh, pet back to back days. So there it is. I now have a total of 18 pets, looking very nice. I'm almost uh, finished with the third row here. So yeah, two pets in one episode. Pretty amazing. Anytime you get one pet, it's great, but two pets is just like icing on top of the cake. Getting the pet Kraken also means that I can go ahead and lock them now. I'm going to switch them out with, I think, Fire Giants. Yep, I think that's one of the lowest weight ones. I know I can block these because Cave Kraken are one of the highest weight ones. And after the pet, it's not worth doing for experience or anything. So I'll pick up a new task, which is Dust Devil is very nice. And I said once I got the Kraken or the Hell Puppy, I would start doing Sire again. So any Abyssal Demon tasks. Um, hmm. Well, now that I think about it, 
because of the Scotizo pet. I'll do some of them at Sire and some of them in the Catacombs for uh, Dark Totem pieces, but yeah, I'll do some more Sire. I'm going to go ahead and end here on this high note. It's always nice when I can pull a pet out for an episode, let alone two pets, so uh, take a look at these guys at Pack Animations. What is he doing with his hand? Oh, he has like a little orb thing that comes out of his hand. Do you see that? Right? Right there? That's cool. Anyways, I will thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.